Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. Come on. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Today we're doing a rotisserie crock pot chicken. I seen this on the internet and I had to try it. Yes, y'all, I'm telling you, I seen it and it looked good. So these are the ingredients. We got some salt, some paprika, some onion powder, garlic powder, parsley flakes, black pepper, and some cayenne pepper. Now this will make the rotisserie rub, all right? It's a rotisserie rub seasoning blend. And I'm telling you, y'all, you got to try this here recipe, no joke. So what I do have here is some bone-in thighs with the skin attached. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim these babies up. I'm gonna take off some of the loose skin and try my best to remove some of the fat. While I'm doing this here, I'm going to show y'all guys, man, my easy method of trimming up, you know, chicken thighs. I just love chicken thighs. I cook more thighs than any parts of the chicken because they, they have more flavor and they're very meaty. All right. Especially when you're cooking them in the, in the crock pot. Um, in my opinion, thighs are better than cooking breasts because the breasts tend to dry out quick, but these thighs continue to stay moist. So, I'm trimming up these here with um, um, taking off the, the skin and the fat. But this knife, this is my old fillet knife. And I did have these things sent out to be sharpened. And it was by Knife Aid. And Knife Aid did a good job on my knives, I'm telling y'all. And I'm not being sponsored by Knife Aid at all. Like I said, when I sent these knives out, I purchased um, the service with my own money. And they did a phenomenal job, and I'm definitely going to send some more knives out to them to see if they can sharpen these, sharpen up some of my other dull knives here at the house. So, with that being said, um, I'm trimming these um, chickens up, these thighs up. Now, this is what I want you guys to do for me, if you don't mind. How many pieces of thighs am I trimming up right now? Check it out and let me know after you see this here speed it up version. So what we want to do now is incorporate all of our ingredients for the rotisserie season blend. We want to mix all of these here together so that we can get everything together, get the flavors incorporated. You know what I'm saying? Now, once we've done that, all right, what I want you to do next is take your crock pot insert and I want you to take some olive oil, about a tablespoon of olive oil and just cover the bottom spread that olive oil around and make sure that the bottom is covered with the olive oil and the reason for this because we're going to take some of that seasoning that we've just mixed up and we want to sprinkle just enough at the bottom that's going to cover the bottom okay not all of it but just enough to cover the bottom and i'm going to show you the reason for this all right so just do this right now Alright, so now that we got our season in this here insert, we want to go ahead and place our chicken right on top of that seasoning. Alright, that's the reason why we put the seasoning on first, because we want that bottom to be seasoned up pretty well. So in this particular crock pot, it can only hold about six thighs. That's all I wanted to put in here. And as you can see, I got them tucked at the side just a little bit, skin is smoothed out. And once these are placed in, I want to take some of the seasoning that we um, mix together and just sprinkle it right on top. But I'm definitely going to go heavy with the seasoning, as you will see in the video. Okay, trust and believe me, 
this will not be salty or whatever the case may be. You you will look at it and be like, hey, that's just too much seasoning. Trust and believe me, y'all. We're cooking in a crock pot. You're going to thank me later. Trust and believe me. All right? So with that being said, let's season this baby up before we even go to the next step. Check it out. Now, this is what we're going to do. Set our crock pot to seven hours on low heat. That's right. Set it on low heat for seven hours. Now, as you can see how this here rotisserie chicken is looking right now with all of these seasonings well incorporated. Now, I want you to go ahead and put your lid on this here, baby. But if you got some seasoning remaining and a couple of pieces of chicken left, I want you to put those couple of pieces of chicken in a Ziploc bag along with the rest of that seasoning and toss in some water just barely enough to cover that, that cheek, um, chicken up and let some of the air out. And this will make the best perfect marinade for either grilling, baking, or even throwing it in the air fryer. This is some good marinade seasoning as well. So it's universal. You understand? Understand what I'm saying? So please give this here a try, y'all. I guarantee you, listen to what I'm saying. You can't go wrong. So now our crock pot chicken is about ready. And as you can see, it has a bronze color right on top of that skin. And it's looking good. I've never cooked chicken thighs in the crock pot that looked like this. So when I first seen it, I was floored. I say I got to try it. Now, as you can see how the chicken is looking once it cooked for about seven hours on low heat in the crock pot. So I decided to go ahead and fix this baby up, but I paired this up with some string beans that I prepared along with some homemade mashed potatoes. And I'm telling you y'all, look at this here chicken. It's coming out whole. You understand what I'm saying? And this is one reason why I love cooking thighs versus cooking breasts, okay? and. As you can see, we got a nice old southern style plate ready to go, ready to get munched on. And I'm going to tear it up. But I had to fix me some cornbread to go with this as well. You understand what I'm saying? But before you go, please don't leave right now. Check me out right at the end of this here video. So sit tight. Don't go nowhere. We've made it to the end. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this here video. If you can, please watch my suggested video and also watch the what's next video. And if you want to subscribe to this here YouTube channel by clicking on my photo and hitting that subscribe button. Love and not hate. Make sure you comment. Love you.